Wolfsburg, who won their only Bundesliga title in the 08-09 season with arguably the best striking partnership the league has ever seen in Erdin Dzeko and Graffiti, who scored a combined 54 goals that season, just haven't been able to reach those heights again since sending the likes of Dzeko, Kevin De Bruyne and of course Julian Draxler in the coming years. Now having one of their best seasons since 2015, can we take them one step further and topple Bayern Munich? Let's meet the team that's going to try. Going Castillos. At 6 foot 6, Castillos is a giant in the box and readily comes for crosses. And as our highest rated player, I expect him to perform well and be making those big crucial saves we'll need. Defenders Kevin and Babu. With speed and strength in abundance, and Babu will be a beast both defending and going forward. He'll be solid for sure alongside the centre back pairing in the middle of Maxence Lacroix and John Brooks. At just 20, Lacroix has pace to burn and the experienced Brooks is calm and collected on the ball, both with good strength when up for a header or in the tackle. They have the makings of a great partnership, but of course, keep an eye on Marin Pongracic, who is more than capable of filling in if he is needed due to an injury. Jerome Rosillon, a fantastic crosser of the ball and bags of pace, Rosillon will be up and down the left wing more than Norwich in the Premier League, and hopefully he'll be able to bring assists with him. Midfielders, Maximilian Arnold, been at Wolfsburg for 10 years and has recently just hit 300 appearances for the club. Back to some great passing stats to look for runs short and long and of course he isn't afraid of putting in a challenge either. Joshua Gulavogi is actually club captain and resident hard man at the club. Gulavogi will be taking no prisoners when making his tackle. Solid midfielder for sure but keep an eye on Javis Slager at 22 years old in there as well. Jao Victor, pace, trickery and a strong weak foot are this man's strengths with good left midfielders all over the squad it's his trickery that sets him apart hopefully he proves to be the right choice i've made at left midfield ridley baku an in-game right back that actually plays right midfield in real life has all the hallmarks of being a great winger for us pace passing along with good defensive stats add up to baku being a very very promising midfielder forwards maximilian philip Playing just behind the main striker, it will be Phillips' job to latch onto knockdowns and onto through balls from the field. With decent pace, dribbling and good finishing, I can see him grabbing the goals and a lot of assists easily this season. Bout Weghorst. Lethal in the box and a beast in the air, Vergos will be the figurehead at the top of our team. Now he's not blessed with a lot of pace, but if we can find him either in the air to give a knockdown or in the penalty box for a strike, he'll be crucial for us. Oh, and uh, watch out for Bartos Bielag as well, our Weghorst apprentice. Now you've met the boys, let's move to some transfers. So then, after winning the preseason tournament, and we've sold Renato Stefan for 17.8 million to Sevilla. We've got a couple of loans for Lang and for Herman as well. We've got 61.7 mil in the bank plus a decent wage budget. So I've gone and bought quite a few players. First up is Jaden Braff. Gonna look for a loan for him, young winger for the future. Got him for about 4.2 mil. Another loan he'll be looking for is Isaac Janssen, centre forward. If we don't get the loans for these guys, we will put them out in January. But I did get a loan for Elliot Matazzo. He's gone to Freiburg for a year. I've then bought George Bello as a backup left back. He will be staying around along with Lua Dice from Las Palmas. Another CDM. I do need as many CDMs as possible as we don't have that many. I've also brought in a backup right back in Linton Minor. 71 rated. He'll be staying around and you'll be seeing a lot of him as well. Then I went and bought a backup right back in Mert Mulder. He looks quite good, decent, paid a bit for him as well, 8.4 million. And finally, I bought another CDM in Zambi, the Conga. He should be very good. I'm very excited to see him. And that wraps up the eight players I signed in this window. And that then brings you up to date as to where we are. And we're at the first game of the season now. Um, quick thing, if you haven't already, please do subscribe and like the video. You know, that will really help me out and push this series as far as we can go. My hair looks like this as compared to what it like at Luton because I haven't had a hair haircut since August and I'm not going to be able to get one. So we're going to look like this. That th Your chance to comment about it is now. There you go. Other than that, into today, we'll be playing Hertha Berlin, we'll play Mainz and we'll play Bayern and that will be the end of the episode. We'll finish the transfer window just because it's nice and easy. Now we will normally do four games played an episode plus a couple of sims so we'll get through this quite quickly i would imagine but for today we'll just do the three ones played and get episode one nice and short just to entice people to the series hopefully 
But yeah, we'll go and we'll play her to Berlin. So this is the team, how we will mainly line up. And this is our bench as well. This is what it's going to look like for now. Mainly, you can see all the lads there. All the new signings are actually in the reserves. There's Mulder, Sambi Lacango, Bello. All them lads are all there. Anyone who I've said has gone on loan hasn't obviously right now, but that's why there's a bit of continuity. I would have just shown you all the transfers at the start. So if you see anyone there who has gone on loan, that's why. But that's how it's going to run for today. Her to Berlin. We may as well try and start well. First time game of the season. Let's try and get ourselves a win. And here we are then at the Wolfsbagen Arena. Pretty much what could you expect? Her to Berlin versus Wolfsburg. I am not going to think this is going to be an easy one. This will probably be difficult, but I am hopeful we get a win. We would like to start well on a Friday night, so let's go. Would also just like to add, I haven't played FIFA in a while. I have upped the difficulty a bit sliders-wise, so this could go horribly wrong, but you never know. Into Feguli now. Brooks comes across, gets a good foot on it, and that will be a corner or a goal kick. We've got lucky. Require on the ball. Into Kulavogi will build slowly. Out to Baku on the wing. Just lifts it for Philip. Is he going to get there? And head of his man he is. This is good play. Back post is Jao Victor on his head. Doesn't get the header right. Baku now coming inside. Finding Veghorst. Philip over for Victor. This is beautiful football. Victor on the volley. Oh, I swear that was going to go right in the goal. Victor. Roussillon. Good ball. There's Philip. He's ahead of his man. It's not. It is. It is a good enough header. And 27 minutes in after threatening quite a bit. We get our first goal of the season. And it's centre forward. Newly positioned trained Maximilian Philip with it or with Arnold sees Jao Victor going and he can find him Arnold's got that in his locker as I said a first second time ball is oh nearly Veghorst's head ah oh, my English is terrible but we're nearly there again Baku takes it in well finds Gulavogi on the edge finds Veghorst good turn a strike from distance is in the back of the net because Val Veghorst has got a good finish on him and it's 2-0 just before half time this is what we wanted in the first game nice and calm get the goals get a win and we're on track now. And Babu and Baku exchanging positions, basically, which they will do throughout the game. And Babu with a cross. It looks like Vegas is nearly there. Full of Ogi down to Philip. On the wing, waiting for a runner. Baku should be coming through. And there he is. It's found him really well. Jao Victor's in space. Finish it, Victor. And it's three. And that should wrap up the game just before half time. Jao Victor with a good finish. Baku with a great cross. And we've got ourselves a third. Just before the break. Ref should blow his whistle any second. Things you love to see is us in front. And there it is. Brilliant result so far against her to Berlin. We haven't even got to the second half yet. And I'm already pleased. Philip in his new centre forward position went up three overall when I trained him there. And it looks good. Back who at right mid went up and overall when I trained him there. Looks good. I'm pleased. We're looking strong. Of course with the ball finds Philip. Good touch. Takes it past Stark. But does need a man in the box. Surely Veghorst is there. Can he win his header? He can. And he puts it in for four. Ten minutes after the restart. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. Herb Berlin a no match. Maybe I do need to change a few more sliders. Make it more difficult. Because we look good. But here come Herb Berlin with a chance. Veghorst has got pace. Brooks not so much of it. But he does well to hold him up. Puts a foot in. Doesn't get there. And Lacroix he can't. And Berlin get a goal back. That's annoying. I don't know how he got his foot up higher than Lacroix's head. But he managed it, and Matthias Kuna, I believe it is, has scored for them. Just over the hour, Mark, and really, all this has been is goals this game. Here comes Figuli. Most of the players for us are caught upfield. Gulavogi's not got the pace to get back. Looks like we're going to have to just manage to cross in. Figuli. Rosilion's nearly there. It's a great header. And that from the penalty spot, that's 4-2. 4-2. Come on. How are, we being, how are we letting them back in it? Cordoba gets a goal, 20 minutes to go now. It looks like Arnold's dropped down with an injury. In our first game, that is not what we need, but that is why I made about eight signings. But here at Berlin, Castillo's with a good save. Gulavogi up against Feguli, does well, does really well there. And again, Rusilion gets it and will get it away. And Babu with space to carry the ball forward, which I like to see from him. Can we find Vegos with it? We can. He'll hold off, quite easily hold off Matteo Guendouzi and play in Maximilian Philip on his weaker foot, sticks it wide. That's why it's called a weaker foot. But that should take us to full times. I did make a couple of switches. So Breckelow has come on and so has Gerhard for Arnold and Victor. But it doesn't matter because there goes the full time whistle at 4-2. We've won our first game. So I'm pleased. But conceding those two goals after going 4-0 up. Not great. Would like to have kept the clean sheet. Maybe against Mainz we will. Who knows. But let's get there. Just before we get to Mainz I will let you know that Arnold's out for three months. Well, here's the chance for the signings I made for Lower Doys and for Lokanga to get themselves games. 
under their belt because we've already got an injury. That's why I signed so many players, but we'll see who plays against Mites. So I've decided to give Sambi Lokonga his debut. I'm going to call him Sambi because it's easier. But yes, at CDM, he's been trained there. That's why he's a minus two, but he's been trained for that position. We'll see how he does. I'd like to know. So let, let's, um, let's hopefully go and beat Mites. Five at the back, so it won't be easy. Here we go then, not too shabby, not too shabby against Mainz at the Opel Arena. I'm excited to do our first away game, didn't mean to let that go on so long, but um, I think it'll be good. We should be able to get a result here, I'm confident after the 4-2, team feels good. Philip as a centre forward feels good, I'm, I'm happy with this now, let's get this going. Sambi with his first touch there, can he go back to Veghorst? He can. Can we get it back to Sambi on the edge? Yes, how's his shot? Let's have a look. Decent, decent first shot from him, six minutes in. Uh, Gullivogi's won it back up, high up the pitch. We're going to have to go back to Philip, who I think is going to be offside. He's not. Can we get it across for Veghorst? We can, and within eight minutes. We've started strong. We've started fast, and it's 1-0 already. Val Veghorst with the goal, and I can feel he's going to get a good few more this season. Karma collected John Brooks at the back. Nice pass out wide, and we'll go again. Here come Mainz, though, for the first time. That's a good pass into their striker. Brooks, it's gone through his legs. Resilion's not got there, but what a save that is with his feet. Castillo's. Mainz with the ball on the edge now. It's a good ball through. Castillo's again saves with his legs. He's looking good here, and we're calm on the ball as we play it out. Not long left in the half now as Resilion brings the ball forward. Finds Sambi. Philip's going to be going, but we'll go to Victor instead. Can we get Vegorst in the box? Looks like we can, but Baku wears the ball. He's going to hit Baku on the head and goes out for half time. Not the best cross in the world from Victor there, but we'll take it. 1 0. I mean, we're away from home, so I'm taking it so far, but Mainz are growing into the game, so I could do with a second just to kill it off. Baku with time to run at the left wing back for the first time. Just a bit of skill and tries to knock it past him, but it hasn't got the strength that it requires keeping that. With such a high press, it looks like Mainz are in behind. Castillos comes out. They've gone backwards. That's put Castillos in no man's land. Lacroix's got the block. Can he get there again? He can't. Anyone? And Babu! No, and Mainz equalise. Not sure where Babu was or why he was there. Casillas was out of the game as soon as he came out and didn't get there. And rightly, Mainz are back in it. Aguar coming in with a slide tackle and getting a foot on the ball. And Babu helps him out and they do clean up well there. Needed it. There they are again. The Crow with a last stitch tackle does really well. You'll have to excuse my pronunciation. I will get it wrong every now and again. Philip now looks at Victor going and he's gone. That's a good ball. Can we get a good cross in? Oh, Vegos isn't there. It's gone back to Victor though. Oh, Lukanga's in space, and it's just wide. Should have taken a touch. We'll whip the corner in with Baku. Any chance Vegos is going to get up? It doesn't look like it. Oh, nearly Gulavogi. Lukanga out too. Jao Victor has a strike. It's been blocked. Brooks takes his time. Nice and calm. Can we get the ball through to Vegos to have a strike? And we've managed it after a long string of attempts. We've got ourselves a second. We're back in front. We just need to hold on for the last few minutes. Last couple, th five minutes probably without a time and Mainz have themselves a corner. Vegos defending in the other box gets a good header away. But he has dropped down with an injury. Are you kidding me? That does mean I'll bring on Bielek, our apprentice, but it's obviously not going to be as good. We'll see how this goes and how long the injury is going to be for. But there does go the final whistle so far. Two games, two wins. Not bad, but also two injuries. Not what we like to see really, is it? But I'll take the six points so far. We're going into our toughest test yet now against Bayern with another injury. Such a brilliant start to the season we're having then. Another injury in only two games. That's two in two. And this one's for two months. Arnold was three, so this one's two. Dislocated shoulder for Veghorst. Bielek starting up top it is then. Hopefully he grows well soon. And well, here's how we're going to line up then for the Bayern game. They're coming to us, so at least we're at home, but... The legs starting, Gerhardt starting. I'm missing two good players in Arnold and Vegorst, unfortunately, but there's nothing I can do about it. That's two injuries. Let's just hope we get through this one without another one. Home against Bayern Munich, then. One of the biggest games of the season, this one. Gonna be a huge one. Gonna be a difficult one. But if we can start well like we did against Hertha Berlin, maybe we can grab ourselves a result. You never know. And Babu now up against Davis. Goes past him. Goes past him. Ball in. It's gonna fall for Victor. And it's gonna score. That was a that was so lucky. So lucky that that ball fell to Mbabu. Just made it past Davis to whip the ball in. And Victor with a great finish. Looking like a good choice. 1-0. Brooks to go in towards Sane. Can he get a foot on the ball? He can't. That's a great pass to Coleman and Castillos can't get there. And Bayern with their first spell of possession, really, the whole game, have scored. I'm not surprised. It's going to be like that the whole game. Hero signing drops it for Sula. It's a good ball into Kimmich. In the box now, Gerhardt can't afford to make a poor challenge. 
And he makes the good one and we're away. Now Victor in a race with Sula and he's winning the race so far. It's a good few long touches. We put a ball in. Can Philip win his header? He can't. Taliso clears. Fuller now. Lacroix coming forward. Not getting there. It's a good ball through to Coleman. And he's going to finish that. I don't know if he was onside. I mean, they've given it. But you know what I mean. I'm not sure if that was onside. But Coleman puts Bayern 2-0 up. They've had the chances. And now they've taken one. Bielek now, just before half time, that's not a good pass to Philip. I'm not even sure Vegos would have made that pass, but someone should be able to do that. We'll press Taliso, but the ref blows the whistle for half time, and we go in behind for the first time in this series. Um, Bayern look good, as they would. They are Bayern Munich. Um, but we are better than we're playing. The injuries aren't helping. Vegos would be a big help today, but. We're going to try and see what we can do in the second half. Koeman and Mbabu, and he's just gone past him as if he's not there. Lacroix's not got there. Muller, but a good challenge from Gerhardt. And that's not a foul. And Lewandowski's going to put the ball down. Who's that over it? Koeman as well. Doesn't make the pass. Lewandowski off the post and Mbabu to clear. Second half started the way the first half has finished. And it's all Bayern Munich. We need to get this corner out. Muller heads it over. Lewandowski, Brooks with a good challenge. Keeping him quiet today at the very least. We may have conceded two goals today, but we have also been very good at the back. It could have been more without these players. Into Kimmich, that's a good pass. The choir's not got there. Castillo's out, has found it. Brooks, what a block. And it's still 2-1. For well, the first time today, Jao Victor has got himself a bit of space. He's got a ball on to Philip if he can play it now. He can, Philip. Alfonso Davis with the pace gets back. Philip puts a ball through for Baku. This is our last chance when he plays in the box. Baku has lost out, or has he? He's not quite. Can we play it off? We can't. Baku just couldn't get the ball off. You can understand it. Alfonso Davis is fast, and we lose to Bayern Munich 2-1. I will say, though, some resolute defending from us today. It would have been way more without Brooks, Lacroix, Resilion, and Mbabu at the back. It would have been way more, and Castillo's in the goal. So I'm not, I'm not too upset about it. We're going to lose at some point, and it's probably going to be to Bayern. But we will go to... Everyone's favourite little bit, and if you're new, you might like it. And yes, everyone's favourite little bit I like to call is player of the episode, and I'm actually going to give it to John Brooks today. That clearance really stood out for me against Bayern, or that block, should I say, on the line, basically, against Kimmich. But at the back, pretty rock solid. Yeah, we conceded a lot of goals today, and yeah, we lost against Bayern, but it would have been 5 or 6 without him, especially, I think, at the back. Very solid centre-back, and looking like a leader as well. Hopefully he doesn't get an injury because I'm struggling with injuries at the moment. So today is player of the episode. What I normally do from here now is check the table. But first, I would like to show you the youth squad. So as you can see, then I am, of course, getting rid of everyone except one player. And that is Nino Juric because he is my scout future star type. I'm going to keep him right winger from Croatia. He is mine. But what I want you guys to do is suggest places to scout. If you're from the Luton series, you know how this works. You suggest a country and a type. I scout there. And I put all these players into my youth academy and we, we see who does well. We had legends last time. Bradley Bryant, Alex Adams, Benjamin Okoye. Legends that were scouted by you guys. So let me know a country and a player type. And then I'll put it all into a Google Sheet for you to see. And I'll update it every transfer window. I'll be updating it. So twice a season I'll be updating it. And you'll be able to see the progression. I'll keep it as different sheets. You'll be able to see the progression the whole time. So please suggest some places in the comments along with a player type as well, please. But now we'll go and check the lead. And after three games, we stand fifth. It's okay. I wasn't expecting too much. Like six points out of, out of nine is good. Bayern are the only team with nine and we did just lose to them. So I'm happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it. I won't think we're going to be looking down here at all at the likes of Schalke or, well, at the likes of Bielefeld or Union Berlin and them. We will be looking up here. I'm thinking minimum Europa League this season has to be possible Champions League that's it for today so I hope you've enjoyed the new series I hope you enjoyed the new kit my new haircut all that sort of stuff I really thank you all for watching it everyone who's liked subscribe as well I really do appreciate all the support I'm getting moving towards 700 subscribers now and hopefully 1k this year and I will see you all in the next one